Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you a, another super handy function uh, built into PHPStorm and you use it in conjunction with Xdebug and that's called watches and you've probably seen the phrase add to watches pop up in various menus around PHPStorm and you probably didn't know what it does so or a lot of you may not, may not have known and I'm going to show you what it is and how to use it very simple and at the same time very handy so let's say that we have all of these functions being called and all we're really doing here if you notice is just running the functions and then pumping out the end result down here on line 11 so when we run our instance of xdebug the variables pane is not going to populate with a result for each one of these lines because I'm not pumping it out that way. So for example, I don't have result one equals, so I'm just running the functions and looking at the end result. So I'll run that once just to, just to show you again. So we run it to the end and we see that the result variable contains the number 100. So after everything runs, it's 100. So let's say that we want to see the result after each line is called. So it's very simple. We're going to, well first let's stop the debugger and let's put our breakpoint up here uh, somewhere a little bit higher and let's run our script again. Okay, so you'll notice in the variables pane that uh, the result is not there. Okay, but we still want to know the result after we add and then subtract and then multiply and divide. So it's very simple. All we got to do is just come to the watches pane that you see right here and select the plus symbol and let's type in what we actually want to see. So now we're watching the get result function. So after the add function is run, this should change. So you'll notice that it changed to 100 because we added 100. Then after we subtract 50, well, you know the answer to that math. Then after we multiply 50 by 10, you'll see that it's gone up to 500. Then after we divide it by 5, you can see that we're back to 100. So we don't have to come in here and pump out each function into a variable and then just watch this pane. We could just simply add it to the watches and step down line by line and see exactly what we need to see. So it's as simple as that. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, please subscribe to my channel.